Hey, hey you. you! I've heard that you want to make some DaVinci Resolve subtitles, right? Huh? Yes, yes I do! Don't worry, I got you. I'm also gonna show you how you can spice the things a little bit and make them more nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! So sit back, relax and enjoy the tutorial. Let's get started. Okay. Starting out with the first one, which is the most easiest one. You go to effects library, titles and you type subtitles. When you get it, just drop it over the timeline and you get it. Then select it, go to inspector and there's a caption. You can write your text there. Also, you can go to the style, pick the best possible font that you have. Pick the color, sizing, etc. And then adjust the length of it. And if you want to add another one that is following the first one, you go to caption and press add new. And every other subtitle that you're adding by pressing add new is having the same parameters, which is nice. The downside is that you have to adjust the length of it. And if you want to avoid that as well, you can hold alt and drag it on the side. That way you're creating a duplicate, which is also identical as parameters and also as length. And the only thing you need to change is the text. And since my first method is the most basic one, I have to mention that you can go to style, select the color of the stroke, also the size. Also under that there is a transform panel and a drop shadow which you can enable as well as background. I'm not gonna go in absolute details, so let's move on the next one. <laughs> method 2. You go to effects library, you find the title, you leave it on the timeline. And after you set up everything on the settings that you want. You will end up with something boring looking like this. And you want to level up a little bit. So you go in the beginning of it. Then on the inspector and you reduce the values of zoom to about 800. Then you go on the right side and you click that diamond. Which means you're starting creating a keyframes. I'm moving 4 frames forward by using the right arrow of the keyboard. Then going back to the zoom and increasing the values to 1.2. Coming back on the timeline, I'm moving 2 frames forward and for the last time I'm going to the zoom and reducing it to about 1.15. And this is the result. <laughs> Method number 3 is when you're having a moving object and you want to follow it with the subtitle. For example, I'm gonna use these village people, one of them actually. Go in the beginning of the text, then the inspector, select the top diamond that will activate all the keyframe positions. Then select this transform icon right here and moving one frame at a time using the right arrow key. I am moving the position of the subtitle over the character. The gameplay footage that I'm using is not the best example of what I can give you, but I guess you got the idea. And this is what it looks like afterwards. And now it's time for the leprechaun and the last method. And for the last method you have to use the text plus, because we're gonna use the open effects. For example look for camera shake and you can leave it over. The default setting is very slow so I go to effects and I increase the speed scale. You can use this one if somebody is screaming or yelling. And also another thing that you can do is watch this video right here. I recommend it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.